Melissa, I'm going to have you hop down. Patrick, two lockers are fixed. You can put both hands up. You're free to go. <laughs> I bet you, you end up getting bored and doing a lot of fun things up here. Oh yeah, it gets Messing uh, around. Definitely keep yourself entertained. You want me to step down or step? Uh, yeah, step right on down there. Alright. And whenever? And whenever, just keep those arms real loose. Generally, if you hit the tree, uh, duck under, that elbow in your wrist is the hint. If you hit the tree, you usually bounce off and go back out. So the rope saves me having to go out and get you. <laughs> in most cases, it prevents you from hitting the tree. But it's not recommended method of stopping. After about the second time, I get annoyed. Neil the maze, is it clear? It's better. Come it faster? Yeah, yeah I, didn't even, it. I didn't even hold on to it. Really? What just like kind of hovered? Yeah, you don't, you don't have to hold on to yeah. it. You just put your hands there. So welcome to the canopy. I don't know if Mike gave you the warning on the last one, but last platform, but that's the last time you're going to see Earth for a while. We are now in the air, and we will be until we hit the end of the course. Cool. What we've landed in is an eastern hemlock. And we think this one... Melissa, you, let's see, Memorial Day, yeah, you were into this one, right? Mm hmm The platform? I think so. I'm trying to remember if we had this done by Memorial Day. I think we did. We definitely did. Um, this is a new platform. We had a tree over there. Unfortunately, it died. And we moved the cable from there over to here. And we were guessing for a number of years as to whether or not the tree was 250 years old. I basically kind of estimated and guessed on some smaller stumps, and we said, yeah, it's about 250. When we cut that stump down, we were able to count the rings in it, and it is truly over 150 it. years old. It's an eastern hemlock. Anybody have any idea why this tree is still here? You know anything about the history of New England? What's the catastrophic thing? Well, I shouldn't say catastrophic, but what is the significant thing that happened to the forest in the 1800s, 1700s, 1800s in New England? Logging? Logging, but not for the sake of logging particularly. Because we started out growing, growing uh, having cows and sheep. We needed pasture. So, any of you guys live out in the country enough where there's forests and stone walls in the middle of them? In New Hampshire, if you... Who brought the rain? Who turned the switch on? I just noticed that there. Yeah. yeah. If you go out in the forest, you'll see stone walls in the middle of a forest. Do you wonder why is there a stone wall in the middle of this forest? Well, most of New Hampshire, about 97% of it, was absolutely cleared of trees. Only about 3% of the state had trees on it, and that was only in the upper reaches of some of the mountains up in the north. And that was because they needed pastures for sheep and cows. Later on, they needed wood for manufacturing in the industrial age. All the mills in Merrimack, New Hampshire, that what they used were spools and spindles for doing textiles and fuel, bridges, and so forth. So why is this hemlock here? It's 250 years old, so this thing started growing about the time of the Revolutionary War, and it's been here ever since. But I'm telling you, everything else around it was gone. Why do you suppose it was left here? Hard tree to cut down. What is it? Hard tree to cut exactly. down. Exactly. Hemlock is a very dense wood. You're standing on hemlock oh, plank. 
And back then they were huh. cutting trees down with what? A misery whip and an axe? Yeah. So when they come along to a hemlock, they said, ah, forget him. He's too difficult. We'll cut down the balsam fir and the spruce. They're easier to cut down, much softer wood. And a little curious note, um, we made a reference to Olympia, Washington. In Washington State, we have western hemlock. What do you think we use for firewood out there? Western hemlock? Western hemlock. <laughs> because even though it is a soft wood, has needles, green year round, the wood is actually denser than some of the maple that we have out there. And we don't have very many hardwoods, especially around Olympia, Washington. We have mostly Douglas fir and Sitka spruce and hemlock and a little cedar. <laughs> but it's a very, very dense wood. So that's why it's still here. I left it. We have a few of them. There's one down behind Mike. We're going to go into one. They're scattered around selected places. The other neat thing about them is that they get to be about six to 700 years old. The record in New Hampshire is 554 years old. And so it is a monarch in the forest. It has the ability to shade out all the other trees in the forest if the environment and the climate and the site is right and grow only hemlock underneath itself. First floor, follow me, hands on the handrail. Take it all the way over, three of us head on over here. Okay. Is that weight or just too shaky with too many people? Um, usually just kind of split the group up. I yeah. mean, they can, they can definitely hold like all eight of us. Uh -huh. You know, if there's eight people on a tour and you're two guys, ten people. Uh -huh. um, but it just sort of kind of splits the group up. Yeah. And, you know, kind of helps the trees out just because they shake less. And yeah. But this is all on suspension, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, well, they're they're hung up actually. There's a big main bolt that kind of goes right through the tree, mm -hmm. and then there's a bunch of clamps that kind of clamp around it. Mm -hmm. and everything is sort of built off of that main bolt. Mm -hmm. Um, hey, you step over here, Melissa. But I mean, yeah, each of these, you know, pretty much everything in here is rated to hold tens of thousands of pounds. I mean, each one of these can hold about 14,000 pounds by itself. Oh, wow. You can head right on over, Melissa. Lead the way. Sort of minimize impact on the, on the environment. Yeah. What are you doing, Melissa? <laughs> You're moving it side to side. It is. It's all you. It's all your fault. Top of the mountain, which is around the corner here. You'll see it from the other platform better, but that red building is pretty close. Is it 3,280 feet? <laughs> Moving too much for you there? <laughs> you hold on to the tree. I'm holding on to the tree. <laughs> this, is, this is where I can tell you straight. I get a little scared. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, this should be a good one. Going up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Melissa, why don't you lead us across? look on the balsam fir and you look down a couple whirls of limbs you'll see the old stems from the cones from a couple years ago huh. I'll let you get that one sure so 
You guys were wondering when the big zip was going to happen. This is it. All right. 830 cool. feet over there. And we are going to be how far off the ground, Mike? Oh, about 2,000 feet, I think. <laughs> really? No. I was <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> that seems excessive. <laughs> we're about 150 feet up here. Well, we will be about 150 feet up, about halfway across. There's a photographer over there. What? So there's a bug right there. Oh, yeah. You got him. Black fly. It's not a big thing to worry about unless you want to be the mother of 40,000 black flies. <laughs> He's going to be taking your picture as you come in. Oh, God. Make sure to smile unless you want a realistic picture. You guys have done pretty well at steering. This is the first opportunity where you'll be up into the wind where it can have a bigger effect on you. So stay right on top of the steering. If you start to turn a little bit, make the correction early. Don't wait for it to twist you all sideways and then have it make it really difficult to correct. And I'll see you over there. <laughs> Very calm and relaxed about this. Are you going to be our first volunteer, Olympia? Sure. sure. So make sure when you're going, you can look. He's driving you right up on top of that platform. Over there. Yeah, you guys want to be a little bit. He'll try to. I just don't spin. Oh, you can turn your head. Alright. He's actually huge. Okay. <laughs> so this is the tallest and longest one, and then there's three more. Was this number five? Yeah. Um, so it's four more. No, I think there's three more after this. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Not goodbye, son. See you later. I'm going to go up down here. You're on the other side. Drop all the weight into the harness. See ya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna do this? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Which is different. Yeah, because last time I came, it was this, and then there was some shorter ones. Uh -huh. What he's saying is we're coming, and you hopped out of the way across, and then coming back, and then stop all the way to the harness. <laughs> Right here? Yeah. I think he slowed down a bus too. He might get. He might make it. Did he make it? Nope. Not quite. Because he got crook at her? That's probably the biggest reason to it, yeah. I mean, even that little body form really is a huge difference in terms of if you can make it or not. You know, if you kind of spin off to the side, it just creates such a huge area for the wind to slow you down. Yeah. <sighs> it's pretty common though. I mean, you'll see a lot of people come in like two or three or five feet short. Um, I mean, it's pretty rare for somebody to make it on the like halfway across. <laughs> you have absolutely terrible body form and be an 80 pound person and still come in, you know, only five feet short.
Oh, that was us. No, not quite. <laughs> I did too first. Can't get too eager. Tough Field of A's, it's clear. Walker's first name is Mike. There's another guy out here whose first name is also Mike. Ah. Uh. So it's like, <laughs> we all usually go by last names. Uh huh. Guess you want to step. Actually, yeah, you got it right there. It's fine. Okay. Again, just keep the arms very loose. All right. Whenever. And off you go. Okay, step down here, stay on that side. All right. Neil the maze, it's clear. Oh, that's one. So these four are together, and okay. the next one coming in, the next two are together. So you just stuck up here all day? Yep, I hang out up here all day and take pictures of everyone coming across. Yeah. And then when you guys get down to the bottom, you can do your pictures. Oh, cool. Look right over your shoulder here and smile. <laughs> Good one, boys. Yeah, I'm go around back. Yeah. Can I get a quick group shot of the four you guys? <laughs> Step down. Neil the maze, zip clear. Yep. Here's how we turn around. Oh. Yeah, this is good. Oh, this one? Oh, we're doing this. We're not doing it that way. Three zips that we're going to do. There we go. Yeah, this is different. 700. Come back over your heads. And another 700. Now we're going to keep the a little lower Quick group shot of the two of you guys. We eliminate the walk that you did, Melissa, that goes underneath here. Yeah, okay. And we also, unfortunately, eliminated the outhouse and the water station. I was saying, I thought we were, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we said, you don't really have an opportunity. Like you do the old glacial key method. <laughs> Pretty good. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, last we was done. Huh. Yeah, for a walk. Yeah, let's go. So now I can look up that way. What? Well, it would be like this, but... Oh, yeah, so, yeah. I'm fun now. I'm not scared anymore. I'm just scared of that. What is it called? Yeah. 65. Somewhere between 60 and 2,000 feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the clear. Yeah, we're going to step right down off of that little block. Okay. And we got it.
That's my W stand. Medium? Not medium. Feel amazed, it's clear. on the course, which is about 850 feet. Oh, it's longer than this one? <laughs> yep, so this oh, is about 830, wow. it's about 20 feet long there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm still recording, I think. Just want to make sure you didn't hit it. No. Yeah, you're Not yet. You're recording the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. start yeah. from the beginning. There's a bunch of them on YouTube. We recorded the last one. We just put it up. Right. Well, they don't let you do more than 20 minutes or something yeah, like that on YouTube. If you haven't had, like, more than 30 videos or something. Yeah. yeah. We're going to hop right on down. When you're ready, you're free to go to the I'll be YouTube famous after this. Yeah. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. Let's have you hop underneath. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many people have watched the other one that she did. Right. I think it's like not much. It's like 30 or 40 yeah, views or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So. Both ends up there, you're free to go, bud. All right, sounds good. And we got a really nice prussic brake, which works exceptionally well. <laughs> So I just made an example of <laughs> Actually, did pretty well. Cool. I was just explaining that we have a new a prussic brake that, if you hadn't noticed, this one's a bit longer than what we have on the others. It's because the cable is designed so that it's flatter coming in here. Uh-huh. Neil Lemay's up clear. So you're likely to generate more speed. Uh-huh. Yeah, I noticed On that. all three of these. This one, the next one, and the following one. Cool. Yeah. Good deal. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was much faster. And it gets you a little different part of the forest. This is Sierra's Crest, one of our ski trails in the wintertime. Oh, cool.
And keep your eyes and ears peeled. We have a new bird that we've been seeing lately, especially since we've been on this new course, called a Blackburnian warbler. And it's basically a brown bird, but it's got a nice yellow and orange and red breast that's on the male is quite nice to see. The female is a little subdued. That was the first one I saw, so it was kind of hard to figure out what it was. But the huh. male I've seen since, and it's a really nice bird. Haven't figured out his song quite yet. But I've seen him flip around here. Look at the birds. Neil loves his birds in the trees. Can I have you hop up here, Olympia? Same thing for the Stirl College. He's kind of our nature encyclopedia of the place. Your tip goes Olympia. Neil the maze, clear. You can hop all the way down. You got it, you're perfect. See ya. See ya. Hop on up there. How long is this one? This one's uh, it's still 700 feet, close to 800 feet. I'm not sure exactly on the measurements. Okay. Well, please put it on right. Right. <laughs> I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Right up on your tiptoes, bud. Hmm. See a spider up there? On the top of the bag? Spider? Yeah. That's nothing special. It's just a little spider. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have these huge ones that are uh, on top of the Willow Walk. Back yeah. to the station. They're like literally, or if you look in like the gazebo too, uh -huh. kind of right at the base. Like these huge like gray spiders. Huh. That are, uh, I'm not a huge fan, they freak me out, but they're cool to look at from a distance. Feel the maze, clear. I they call them like barn spiders or wood spiders of some sort. Uh huh. Where'd you go there, James? The sun came out for us. sticks around. Joe, I'm gonna join you in the pot. Kind of an abrupt stop, it sounded like. Yeah. Right up on your tiptoes for me. There it is. Kyle the gap, looking clear. Check, Kyle, was that you? Kyle to Zach, is it clear? Feel the maze, is it clear? You can hop down there too, bud. Alright. And free to, to go? All right. Cleared for cake. That warbler I was just talking
talking about is right up there in the notch of that limb. The yellow birch is right here. He just split it. I think it was him. He's still behind looking through that notch. I just saw a red breast. Right in this tree? In the yellow birch on the left hand side. Okay. There he is on the, just above the cable. There's a bird. Oh, there he is right oh, yeah. there. See him? Oh, yeah. Now I'm not sure if it is or not. Right up here. Yep. See him? Yeah. Step down. Neil, those maze zip clear. You're going to stay on that side. Smack. Step up. <laughs> You're right with me. <laughs> the rope? Yeah. The rope is soft. That, uh, Better than the tree. <laughs> Better than trolleys. I'm glad my boot healed then. <laughs> For me, I hit that tree. <laughs> Neil the maze, zip clear. Yeah. Hey, this is still good. It, like, it went down at some point and then I had to fix it. No, no, like this. The actual mount. It's like so. down, and so I just adjust it again for like a finger's worth. I think it looks a little bit more. Right there? Is it looking? Is it looking at like you? Okay. So, we think we just saw the black burning warbler. Did we? We did. What? Where was he? Well, he was in uh -huh. the yellow birch and he was flitting it back and forth across the table. You might see him. The odd thing is that he had a white V tail, which is more likely a Junko, but yeah, he had clearly. I saw a rose breast on him, like I've seen on the ones that we spotted. In. Maybe he was a mix of rose breast and junko. Black Bernie and junko. Black Bernie and junko. Don't worry, you really can't see where you're going on this next one, but you will once you get down the cable a little bit. <laughs> Okay, you're hooked on up. Oh yeah, I should do that. Yeah. Is that him screaming? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Neil the maze, it's clear. This is the most fun jam. This one? Oh, yeah. Y'all will up there when you get to the end. We can hear you. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you on over there on the BIA. Alright. It's really neat. I mean, you're just like so close to the ground. And it's like everything's so close to you. And then it just kind of opens up in all directions. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Neil the maze, it's clear. It's cool though. Fun, eh? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Those ones are there a little. They're like standing on me like, eh. Ah. <laughs> what? Nobody gets to the end, Matt. Shoot, yeah. What are you gonna yell? No. I'm not gonna yell. Right. <laughs> and we'll come behind here with our feet out and give you a push to the other side. Dr. Walker, just there. Clear. And we'll see you on over there, Matt. You see that over there? What's that? Mm. Mm. A pond? 
No. What is it? That. Big circular thing. Yeah. You know, I'm not really sure. I think it's for like, yeah, but I think it's a part of the snowmaking. Uh. Um, this trailer right next to the water clear. tank. Yeah. Uh. So That's probably. I'm guessing it's probably a giant water tank of some sort. Yeah. Kind of what it Maze to Neil. It's got you? pipes coming from it. Uh-huh. Neil to me. Just clear. You're free to go by. Roger, just quick. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what it was. Me too. That's what I was thinking on my way. When I like landed here, I was like, alright, now I'm hungry. <laughs> We've done enough of these till I'm hungry now. We still have to drive all the way back to, uh... Are they going to meet us this late? Yeah, it's not that late. Are we going to Horse Feathers? Yeah. It's not that late, right? But... I think it is. I don't know. It's, it's not 11.40. 11.40? Well, they wanted to meet at 1. It's going to take an hour to get back there. About an hour. Whenever you're ready, Joe, you're free to go. Don't wait for it. It's not like one what are they doing? I thought they were camping at uh, Dolly Cop. No, they're at Glen Ellis. Remember we stopped yesterday? Oh, uh, yeah. Too far away from here. It's not. Maybe 40 minutes. 45. Oh, sure. Patrick to Patrick to Mike Walker's request. <laughs> I think about that one. <laughs> and you're free to go there, Melissa. <laughs> this is a buggy tree. Uh, please, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it definitely is pretty buggy over here. Man. Really. Yeah. Yeah, Melissa was saying that I have to deal with bugs last time, just snow. Right. <laughs> well, they're pretty uh, tame today, actually. Yeah. I yeah it's told to if the mosquitoes are so bad you can't even get bit, or you get bit on the way to your car. Right. Yeah. Walkers, it's clear. Feel the maze, it's clear. And Zach, you're free to go, man. All right. Let's be on over there. See you. up the view that we never had from here because yeah, from here you couldn't see the restaurant very easily oh yeah look at that and now you've almost got a 360 degree view yeah. looking out of here yeah that was a fun one we're going down step right? down it looks like we're going down feel the maze up clear this is what I that one oh that's where you came in so you're still in the same so that old course is going to become what we call a corporate course for people to come to the hotel for a conference, they don't have three hours to devote to a tour. Uh, They'll be able to do in an hour and a half the bottom half of the old course. Huh. Okay. Yeah. There's the hotel. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. It's cool to see from here. Yeah. Time to get his only GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> 
keep forgetting half the time that this thing's like viewing everything I'm saying. Right. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking like sporadic movements. Uh, so. The last time I remember because we came in and there were people standing there and so I was looking down there uh -huh. and I didn't realize the guy was up here. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you looking at me? Why? I was like, he's not oh, even looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that's not our guy. <laughs> you guys don't remember how to do this? Yep. And Mike, I would recommend sending Olympia first. She's a little bit nervous up here. Right. <laughs> You're up. You're up. I'm not nervous. She's still going down. <laughs> You're acutely aware. No, the back you haven't reached the bottom yet. Oh, God. How do you know? Does anyone know that? He's going to be kind of right over No, just him. What did you just do? <laughs> oh, you sit down. That's good. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's cool you see the whole course from here. Thank you. 